Hello everyone, welcome to Fear Reactions TV 2.0. My name is Dede. Today I'm going to do 13 Reasons Why, Take 7, Side A, which is basically Take 13 and the final episode of this season of 13 Reasons Why. And I know what to expect because that's the premise of the show. I just, I'm not ready, but I'm ready. Here we go. One last try. I'm giving life one last try. Just like the, the tapes from my parents' store, it just records on them? Yeah, like a uh, voice text on your iPhone. May I ask what the project is? Just this stupid thing. But this time I was asking for help because I know I can't do it alone. I know that now. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. You, you look radiant. I do today. not. I need one more cassette for my project. Is it okay if I just grab it? Yeah, go ahead, sweetie. Anything you need, just put it down on the mm. inventory, which no one bothers to look at when they call the distributor. I anyway, they only allow for of course, if you're listening to this, I failed, or he failed. And my fate is sealed. We have to get the house listed this month. We'll reschedule. Oh, so they decided to move. I don't know that it's necessary for us to be at every deposition. I do. Those kids hurt our daughter. I want to find out what they know. I might have hurt Hannah's feelings. A little bit. But I didn't mean to. Hurt her feelings how? I thought she wanted to date me. She didn't. That's not the complete truth, but he also touched her. So, of course, he's going to leave that part out. So, I see that even though they are telling parts of the, of the truth, they're not going to tell the whole truth. I told you I wiped out on my bike. What, did you land on Mike Tyson? Look who just pulled up outside. Tony. Good morning. Hey, what the fuck happened to your face? I'll show you. Fuck me, Megan. Wow. He paid the price, but he did get the evidence that he needed. You fucking confessed. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming you want to make a copy of that to keep your set complete. And then what? Sherry texted me last night. She went to the police herself. Mm -hmm. What happened? I don't know. But if she's facing up to it, and we have Bryce's confession... What about going through the cycle like Hannah wanted? I think it's time that we stop thinking about what Hannah wanted and start thinking about what she needs. And Jessica. And every other girl who practically begged Bryce to fuck her. This tape. This tape blows up the world. You were the only one who tried mm. to tell me the truth. I feel so bad for her. How are you? How the fuck do you think? Oh, please, it's your call. But if you want to fight, if you want him to pay for what he did, these tapes can help. They're proof. You want me to tell the whole goddamn world what happened to me? I want you to do what you want to do. Hmm. It's going to be hard, but he has to pay for what he he's done to both of you. Have you listened to the last tape? You know what happens when girls try to get help? Yeah, I listened to the last tape. I'd have to tell the police. I'd have to tell my dad. Yeah. I don't think I can do that. Mm. Okay. You think I'm letting Hannah down? I think we all let Hannah down. And I think she let you down. So. Claire. Don't burn the tapes. Jesus Christ, are you following me? I have to talk to you. Justin! Jess, please. I Give her space. She don't want to see you right now, and that is so understandable. And I was going to jump. Or, or shoot myself. I... Hmm. But I couldn't. Because I couldn't stop thinking about you. I can't. Stop. Try harder. 
Tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. I'll, I'll fucking go to the school. I'll, I'll talk to the cops. I'll kill Bryce. Hmm. If that's what you want, I'll no, kill him with my bare hands. And I'll pay the price for it. Just please tell me what you want. What I want is never to see you again in my life. Mm -hmm. See, this is the type of thing I'm talking about. Like, when you feel mixed emotions about something. Am I wrong for feeling a little bit of sympathy for Justin? Which is weird. And I know that I may not be the only one, but I know I may not be in the majority probably either. But some of these characters that have done some terrible things and some questionable things, I still have sympathy for. It's only about three or four that I completely do not have no sympathy for. I wish I did not have to see them again on this show. <sighs> Everything was dark for days. Then, just a little flash of light. Mr. Porter. Hello? What happened? Are you alright? Uh, yeah, no, I'm fine. It's just, I know I'm still in suspension, but I, I needed to talk. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, of course. Why don't we start with how you're feeling right now? Lost, I guess. And sort of empty. Empty? Yeah, I don't feel anything. Like, I don't care anymore. You don't care about what? About anything. School, myself, the people here, my parents. You can get that if you want. Uh, no. What about Clay Jensen? Clay Jensen hates me. Clay, whatever happened to Hannah between you and her with other kids, she made that choice to take her own life. But why? Why did she make that choice? Well, we can't know that for sure. What if we could? You see the, the, the 13th person, the counselor? Lydia does, I don't know. Okay, I'm not following you. I need it to stop. You need what to stop? I need everything to stop. Hannah Baker came to see you the day she died. <laughs> Hannah? Oh, this is the day. What happened at the party? She told you what happened to her. Look, uh, even if she did come to visit me, it's not something I can talk about. So if I tell you that I'm going to kill myself, you can't tell anyone? Well, yes, I can tell your parents. Did you attention. tell... But did you tell anyone about Hannah? Hannah never told me that she was thinking about killing herself, Clay. And you saw that she was broken because at the beginning of the conversation she said... But did anything happen that night that you regret? Yes. Are you embarrassed by what happened? Yes. Maybe you made a decision? No, I... Decision to do something with a boy that now you regret? Oh my God, no, that's... That's just what you assume? No, I'm just asking you. Like, I didn't make a decision. Stop trying to put words in her mouth and just listen to her. Did he force himself on you? I think so. You think so, but you're not sure. Did you tell him to stop? No. Did you tell him no? No. Maybe you consented and you changed your mind. No, it's not like that. Should we involve your parents or the police? No! Hannah, who's the boy? She didn't use the word, but she described the rape. I can't, I can't. I know you can't. 
If I tell you, will you promise me that he'll go to jail? And that I won't ever have to see his face again, that I won't have to face him? I can't promise you that, Hannah. Bryce Walker. Bryce Walker raped Hannah. If you're not even sure you can press charges, then there really is only one option. You can move on. You mean do nothing? Is he in your class? Are you serious? That means he'll be gone in a few months. Are you fucking kidding me? I have his confession. How do you have his confession? I asked him for it. I took Hannah at her word. Does it matter? You should have done. I believed Hannah, and I accused Bryce of rape, and then he beat the shit out of me, and then he admitted okay, it. Okay, now, I, I think maybe now is where we stop this conversation. Okay. All right. Yeah. But wouldn't you like to know what happened after Hannah left your office that day? But if you won't confront him, then the only other choice is to move on. Yeah. That's just what I'm gonna have to do. She walked out of this office. Or, and she hoped you would come after her. Some of you cared. None of you cared enough. And neither did I. And I'm sorry. She walked out of school. Went home and put some things in order. She returned her uniform to the Crestmont, where I worked with her. She dropped a package off with a friend, and then took another to the post office. She got into the tub, still with her clothes on, slit her wrists, and bled to death. And she died alone. stopped it and I could have Justin Foley could oh have and a dozen oh. other people at least but if she wanted to end her life we weren't going to stop her I cost a girl her life because I was afraid to love her you can't love someone back to life you can try before she died, Hannah recorded 13 reasons why she killed herself. And you're number 13. And everyone who comes before you on these tapes knows what you did and didn't do. You're the last person to get the tapes. And Hannah didn't leave any instructions on what happens after you. So you get to decide. And I had a tape number 14. How do you have these tapes? I'm number 11. It has to get better. The way we treat each other and look out for each other. It has to get better somehow.
<laughs> Listen, I was, um, I was wondering if you wanted to, like, hang out sometime. Okay. Are you okay? No. Is that all right? Yeah. That's fine. Tyler? Are you in there? Just a second. Tyler, honey, it's time to go. Tyler? Tyler? Mom? Privacy? Oh my god, Tyler, what are you planning on doing? This show got me so messed up. I'm still... <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Hannah asked me to keep secrets for her. I wanted to honor that. But I've come to believe that I need to share something with you. There are 14 audio files on there. You should listen to them in order. Oh, oh this is going to be so hard for them to hear. But they need what this. To Hannah? I wish that would never happen to any other kid. Ever. And if giving you this helps that, then... I'm sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. Did you ever hear anyone at Liberty speak unkindly to Hannah? Yes. Can you tell me about the time or times that happened? It happened all the time. Okay, let's, uh... Talk about, but there are tapes. I'm sorry. There are tapes. Well, the mother and Hannah the parents already tapes. received them. So. About what happened to her. And where are these tapes now? Last I heard, Clay Hansen had them. Are you sure about that, Tyler? Hmm. Last I heard. Well, Dennis, without the tapes in evidence, I'd suggest we move on. We stop being friends. Can you tell me why you think that happened? Because I slapped her. And why did you slap her? Because I thought she was fooling around with my boyfriend. And why did you think that? Guys talk at our school, and they do shit. They do things to girls that no one ever talks about and no one ever does anything about. Things like what, Miss Davis? Don't force her to answer. Do you know anything about tapes that Hannah recorded about what happened? Did she there? hear the tapes before coming? No. How did Jensen know about me and Hannah Baker? Hannah Baker made these tapes before she died. Saying what we all did to her. What you did. To Jessica. To Jessica? She was in the room that night. Hiding. You know the real story, right? You know what's true. I do now. That you are a rapist. So I'll, I'll see you around? No, I don't think you will. You're great today, kiddo. You did your friend proud. Dad, I need to tell you. <laughs> Something happened to me. Alex Standall shot himself in the head last night. He's in critical condition at Mercy. Oh my God. 
I was just about to say, like, I have not seen him none this episode. Hey, it's Hannah. And Baker. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Should I put the tape on? How about we just listen to the radio? That's a great idea. Well, I'm so glad that um, he reached out to Sky because I believe Sky was headed down that path that Hannah was, that she didn't get help very soon. This show, uh, you know, I, when I first started looking at this show, I was hoping and praying that, you know, that she did not commit suicide. Suicide in general, it's nothing to play around with. And if they would have done that, I just don't know how it would have went. Um or how it could have been taken because you don't play around with that topic. But the one thing that I love about this show is that they kept it so raw. Um, everything, it's like everything that happened in the show would seem like it can it happened in real life, if you get what I'm saying. I believe that this should open up the eyes of schools and of adults that you know, have children or that's around children that have warning signs like these, you know, to get to the bottom line and don't just sweep it under the rug because they are crying out and reaching out for help. And if you can do anything to try to help them, anything possible, then just try your best to. But that's my take on the whole series in general. Um, I would like to talk about um, some characters. Tyler. I hope and pray that he do not do anything like a school shooting or a massacre or anything like that in season two because I do know it's going to be a season two, but um, I don't know what the plot is going to be or who's going to return or anything like that. Alex, he, I had a feeling, I just had a feeling that I said in earlier episodes, it's just something that's not right with him. I don't know, you know, the signs of suicide or anything. I never had to deal with that um, before, so I don't know the signs of what to look for. That's why this show to me is so important because now I know if I'm around someone that, that show these signs that I will sit and talk to them and just let them know that I'm here for them and that I love them. I hope that he do not die. They just said that he was in critical condition. Hopefully he do not die. Um, I would love to see his character back in season two. I don't know how it would be, but I just would like to see him survive. Um, Hannah. That whole thing, see, I was preparing myself because people was telling me that it was going to be hard to watch. So I was bracing myself, but I did not know everything. Just every single emotion that I had felt building up to this point just came out in this episode. For one thing, it's the last episode. I'm sad because I'm so attached to all these characters. It's like, I don't want you to go off. At the same time, the story is just so sad and heartbreaking. Um, that scene was so graphic with Hannah. Um so real that's why i say this show is just so real <sighs> that was just hard to watch and then the mother discovering her just i'm not going to even start it again on like <sighs> said and when jessica told her father about you know that something was going on with her that broke my heart as well um, i'm so glad that sky that clay had um got together with Sky because Clay could possibly save her life. I don't know if that's going to be a part of the storyline for next season as well. Um, but... You know, besides the sadness and the heaviness of this show, 
12 and 13 was definitely the saddest two episodes I had ever seen in the show. It was a great show, actually. Well acted to me. I love the acting and the writing. Everything was on point. I loved this show. It, it just was so sad. It was just so sad, but I loved the show. Oh, my goodness. I just cannot believe, looking back at this footage, how much... I knew it was just building in for me, and I'm so sorry. I don't know why I apologize when... I show my emotions. This is a reaction channel, but I'm so sorry for anyone that is offended by anything. I love the show. Now I have to wait till when? 2000? Next year? It's for the um, second season? Well, thank you so much for tuning in to this season. Please stay subscribed to my channel for season two of um, 13 Reasons Why. And also, if you have any other show suggestions, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will get right back to you with them. And I will be re uh, reacting to some of my favorite shows that's coming up in this fall season. So please stay tuned for that. And like I say, leave your suggestions as well. Thank you so much. And everyone have a great day. Bye. Bye.